Hi friends, today let us consider the milk packets. You buy the milk from your supermarket or shopping center or from the vendor and these kind of packets, is there any probability that you might get coronavirus from the milk packets? So well this packet is uh, uh, you know a sterile milk, flat sterilized long shelf life It's called live from the mother diary or you might have got the milk from uh, you know the local vendor selling the uh, the pasteurized milk in uh, see through the transparent poly bags. So what to do with that kind of uh, milk packets? What is the probability of getting the virus? Well, pro while the probability is not zero, you know, of course, these are some in technically it's called formite. Any surface that can st the infectious particles can stick on surface is called formite. Well, this is a potential formite, but chances are almost nil. Probability is almost zero. You know, so you don't have to worry much. My advice to you is that rather than, uh, you know, sterilizing this kind of packets before use, many of you might wonder, all right, the best option is that let me wash it in a Dettol solution to make sure or wash with the soap clearly, you know, before opening. You really don't have to do that because the coronavirus is not actually a foodborne particle. It's a respiratory, you know, it is basically a respiratory virus. So what you have to do is that if you handle this kind of packet, whatever the milk packet, even the carton, you know, the tetra packs, long shelf life milks are coming in the tetra pack. So after handling these things, so after get it, just open it. You don't have to wash these packs, just open it, pour into your, a clean container and just trash it in your bin and then clean your hands properly that is the most important crucial stuff while you really don't have to wash this sort of uh, long shelf life milk but in case you get the pasteurized milk in poly bags transparent poly bags like this i suggest you to wash it in a normal tap water the reason is that sometimes uh, you know the local shops the grocery shops or the local vendors coming to your home they might be mixing it with dirt right so when you open it so probably this dirt also gets into your milk so that's not a good uh, way uh, way through so i suggest you to wash that in a normal tape water you don't really have to use detour solution or a soap to wash the cover absolutely no need of it just wash it and uh, you know throw out the pack uh, after of course after transferring just discard it in your bin and more importantly wash your hands properly after touching any of these formites cleaning the hands matters a lot so if you haven't watched please watch i have compared the two methods of uh, soap one is liquid soap and one is solid soap and i told you to stick with the solid soap because it re lasts really long and both are equally efficient there is no point in going with the uh, liquid soap it's just the trendy things you know it is just a consumerist lifestyle i never go with that and more than that the, the carbon footprint is also much lower in the case of uh, a solid soap whatever the brand you like it's not just peers whatever you like you can just go with that and how about this kind of uh, uh, you know the sanitizers so sanit hand sanitizers are also good but i suggest you to reserve this the use of sanitizers when you go out and you don't have uh, proximity to water so if you can wash your hands, for example, if you are in a lab or, you know, uh, in a uh, establishment, in a supermarket where you can wash your hands properly, that's much better. Stick with that. And if you don't have it, for example, in, uh, if you go in a bus, you can use this, you know, uh, sanitize. Otherwise, just stick with a nice old method of this, uh, uh, the soap. And while you might not get coronavirus infection through the milk packets, it can you know it can affect your health in some other ways as well that is something called bpa this might contain a molecule called bisphenol a which is an estrogen analog i'm going to cover in detail in one of my upcoming videos so thanks for watching this video and if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and also please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and have a nice day